What is up YouTube? Today we are heading to the immersive Van Gogh experience at Pier 36 in Manhattan to figure out, is it worth it? This one's not to be confused with the other immersive Van Gogh experience happening in Manhattan as well. So if you'd like to go to this one, make sure that it's the one at Pier 36. And if you want to see more new New York City spots, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for all the latest updates. Now it's time to figure out, is it worth it? Let's go. We are almost in. They have a security check in the beginning, but backpacks are allowed. I'm immediately drawn to the huge self-portrait of Van Gogh and the decor is really impressive, but I think it is time to check out the show. There are also concessions that you can take with you into the gallery. As we are walking into the gallery, let me tell you about tickets. Tickets range from $40 for off-peak all the way to $70 for peak times. So I suggest finding an off-peak time to lower the cost. Don't live in New York and still want to see the immersive experience? Well, there are 19 other cities that it is shown in. Here we are in the gallery. Let's check it out. Have you been to the immersive Van Gogh experience in New York City or in another city? Let me know in the comments and let me know what your thoughts were. There are three rooms in this gallery that all have the same exact projections. So I would suggest watching the whole show and then exploring the features of the other rooms. This room is my favorite room because the projection is on the floor as well. So I felt way more immersed. I will say that I'm a little disappointed about the ceilings. I know it must be difficult to do this, but I wish the ceilings were covered in some way because it does take away from the magic a little bit. Though what I really like, as a huge Van Gogh fan, they are taking you through the stages of his art and not just the greatest hits. In the beginning, they take you through his first paintings, such as the potato eaters, and all the way to what we're seeing now, the cypresses, and of course, Starry Night. So the show is really only about 35 to 40 minutes. So I highly recommend staying for multiple showings to get the best bang for your buck. As we exit, they have Van Gogh themed costumes featured and also great places for photo opportunities. Leaving that area, of course, brings you to the gift shop where there are many options for a Van Gogh themed gift or souvenir. And 
here is one of the best parts to end off your night. And here is one of the best parts, the amazing view of the waterfront at Pier 36, featuring the Manhattan Bridge, the Brooklyn Bridge, World Trade. It is truly a beautiful end to a beautiful night. All in all, I think it is worth it if you are looking for something quick to do in New York City, whether that's having other plans later or an after work or school activity, and you don't mind spending a little bit of money. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you would check this immersive experience out. And of course, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for all the latest updates on New York City. See you soon.